morning, everyone, and welcome to What Is It Wednesday from the Barnes Museum in Southington, Connecticut. Today, I've got some exciting news for you. We are opening our doors for scheduled guided tours starting this coming Monday, June 15th, 2020. We've been closed since March, and we've been so happy to be bringing you this virtual programming. Some of the virtual programming will continue throughout at least the month of June. Uh, so make sure to follow us on social media and stay posted on all our activities. But you can come experience the Barnes Museum for yourself in person. Now, what can you expect when you schedule a tour, when you come into the museum? Well, typically, uh, we in the past, we've had people just be able to drop in for tours whenever. Uh, due to COVID-19 and for the safety of our staff and for all of our guests, we're requesting that everyone please call in advance at 860-628-5426 to schedule a tour at the museum, or this is brand new to us, you can also schedule a tour online. You can go to our website, thebarnesmuseum.org, and you'll see a tab where you can schedule a tour. When you come in, masks uh, should be worn whenever you uh, come for a tour, and you'll get a personally guided tour by one of our staff members. It will take about 45 minutes and you'll get to see the entire collection up close and personal. You'll get to hear the piano from Songs of the Steinway live, and you'll get to see how vast and amazing this collection truly is. If you have any questions, Again, uh, email us or give us a call, and we just can't wait to see you. So start booking those tours today online. Again, we start on Monday, June 15th, 1 to 5 p.m. every single day. Oh, tours are limited to four people or less. So if you have a large group, plan on splitting up your tour. So today, for What Is It Wednesday, we are going to give you an up-close and personal view of a room that, for at least for now, we won't be able to go in. So I wanted to show you all of the items. This room is a fan favorite. Behind me is the goblet room. And I'm going to turn the camera around because this is just too spectacular to stare at me. This is our conservatory or our goblet room. This room is full of almost 500 goblets. These goblets are, uh, were all collected by Leela Barnes, and she did not use them. She would collect them, and in fact, she's the one who put them on these beautiful shelves like this. In 1941, she added all these glass shelves to uh, display the goblets. And what's wonderful is that this conservatory faces southward in our house and due south and due westward. So as the sun comes through the trees, the, uh, the light comes directly through southward on this wall right now we're at and just shines through. Uh, many questions that we get in this room, they're like, do you clean all these? Yes, we do. We preserve and clean them and take care of them. Uh, it certainly takes days and we enjoy them. Now let's get up close to some of these great goblets. We have many different kinds uh, of goblets here. We have crystal glass, mercury glass, milk glass, as you see here, uh, Vaseline glass, all of this uh, being depression glass mo mostly. We even have Tiffany glass, all 500 here. There are most of the goblets are not duplicates. However, if you look at these two goblets right here, you'll notice that they're identical. However, they're different in color. And the one on the right is called, is the blue, obviously, and that is called Almond Thumbprint. Each of these goblets has a very specific name. And for those of you who are familiar with uh, depression glass collecting, you know how great it is to find all the different names and all the different sets. We also have, where is my six panel amber? This one right here is called a six panel amber and you'll see the panel of six circles. We have this in clear, we have this in yellow, we have this in amber, beautiful, beautiful goblets. Now I mentioned that we have Vaseline glass. This is Vaseline glass right here. Vaseline glass does something really cool. If you have anyone in your family who collects this and grab yourself a black light and put this Vaseline glass underneath a black light, it will glow. Why does it glow, you ask? Well, it has uranium in it. 
So uh, pretty much safe to drink, it's very little. <laughs> but this does has uranium, uh, uranium oxide in it, so it does cause this to glow uh, just like white clothes do under a black light. We also have some of our clear goblets, and I'm not quite sure, I know it's gonna be a little difficult to see, but if you see this blue glass up top on the left, and then there's a purpley one right in the center here. This purpley glass was not originally purple at all. This, is, uh, this was a clear glass. However, depression glass does something really neat again. What it does is when it is, uh, when it comes in contact with a lot of UV light, when it's put on window sills like this, the manganese inside of it changes the color to purple. Now, those of you who love to go antiquing, if you see a purple goblet, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is old. Sometimes, yes, it does, like in the case of this glass, um, but sometimes purple glass is just purple glass. So when collecting, make sure you know what's real and what's, uh, what's fake, but the purple glass is certainly uh, well sought after as well, which is great. On the bottom, we have some beautiful mason jugs and again all part of the collection all things that the family used and this jug these two jugs all the way in the corner these still have wine in them they are corked off now i wouldn't drink it nor would i ever open it obviously for many reasons but uh this is uh just the way the family had left it and that's the great part about the barnes museum when you come to visit us starting next week you'll be able to experience how they lived and you'll be able to see these items. I know I've mentioned it in many, many uh, videos for What Is It Wednesday, but almost every single item in this house is original to the family. This family, they were collectors to the nth degree. They never threw anything out and they documented it all. So let's take these 500 goblets that we have in the goblet room, for instance. I mentioned that Leela collected these. Now, Leela was Bradley Barnes's wife. We've talked about her in a few other episodes. And this is Leela right here. She became woman of the house in 1910 when she and Bradley were married. And she lived here until her death in 1952. And then Bradley uh, lived here in until his death in 1973. But Leela really married into the Wright family. She loved collecting things as well. And Bradley and Leela frequented estate sales and auction houses. And that is where she got all of these goblets. But just in sheer Barnes Museum fashion, she did not just go to the auctions and collect the goblets. Oh, no, no. She had to document the doc uh, all the goblets that she purchased. So she would come home. She would write everything down in a notebook. So we have a notebook full of every single goblet she ever purchased. There are 500, again, in this room. However, there are 1,150 goblets in the collection. And when you come and visit the museum for a tour, you'll be able to really see uh, where they're all over the house. We have goblets everywhere, because where do you put 1,150 goblets, right? <laughs> so you'll be able to enjoy uh, searching for those, almost like a little treasure hunt it, uh, as well. But she didn't just write them in a notebook and document what she had. She would also write it in her diary. Some of those 52 family diaries that we have, um, many of those years are hers. And she would document exactly what she got each day. And I know we're looking at the goblet room, but I'm going to show you one of those diary room excerpts. This is our dining room and you will be able to walk through this room uh, and see it up close and personal during a tour. But throughout the house, you'll see these wonderful black and white cards. And these are excerpts from the family diaries. And this is from Leela. So on December 27th of 1940, they went to South Glastonbury auction all day. She purchased 24 goblets, a luster picture, and one red vase and a magnolia plate. And that is this, right? or I'm sorry, I said magnolia. It's a Majelica plate. <laughs> So we have so much documentation. So 
What's great about the documentation is that, yes, this is one family's collection. This is one family's history. However, because they were so obsessed with keeping documentation, we can tell what life was like for uh, many, many uh, different people throughout the town of Southington. We know what factory workers were doing. We know what was happening in uh, town and state politics. We know um, if there was a natural disaster. We know if buildings caught on fire and burned down. We know when buildings were built, when people passed away. Sylvia, the matriarch of this family, and Bradley Barnes's grandmother, uh, the wife of Eamon Bradley, uh, she was very well respected in town and she was called Aunt Sylvia. And what she would do is people would come ask her for advice, they would, um, she would lend them clothing. A few weeks ago, we uh, cooked one of her recipes for What Is It Wednesday. Well, she was always cooking and bringing that food to different people, as you could see by the uh, large number of loaf cakes that uh, each recipe would yield. But what she would also do was help prepare the bodies of those who had passed away. She was extremely involved in all aspects of the town of Southington and her daughters, Alice and Emma, Alice being Bradley Barnes's mother, really wrote everything down during those teenage years in their diaries. So we have this um, unedited view of history um, that's just wonderful for understanding different social classes and different ways that people lived all throughout Southington. This is quite an important collection and as I mentioned, we are so excited to bring it to you uh, live and in person starting on Monday. We hope that you come and visit us. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can uh, give us a call at the Barnes Museum or email us at thebarnesmuseum at southington.org and we'll be able to help you uh, book those online tours or schedule one for you uh, just via phone. But definitely, take some time uh, with your family. We love people of all ages coming in and uh, the kids have a great time exploring history. So bring everybody along. Again, tours of four or less when we open. And we look forward to seeing you next week and hopefully next week for another What Is It Wednesday as well. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.